now uh, uh, so this is my model okay now I go to view I go to residual diagnostic then first I check Q statistics <laughs> as I told right I, I write the Q statistics as I told okay here I take 10 lakh right because here for, for the Q statistics I can take more lakhs okay I take 10 lakhs then I run the model so this is the result right of the Q statistics and this one is the autocorrelations and this one is the partial autocorrelation right autocorrelation and partial autocorrelation and this is Q statistics and corresponding probability value right okay and for this model so what is our null hypothesis the null hypothesis is there is no serial correlation that is the null hypothesis so I am writing the hypothesis the null is null is there is no serial correlations that is null hypothesis right and what is alternative hypothesis there is there is serial correlation right that is the alternative hypothesis so what is one is null and one is alternative okay and you can see from here the probability is very high all are more than 5% you can see so the what about this one 73.6% what about this one 86.7% what about this one 91.8% right so so you can see all p value is is more than 5% so we cannot reject null hypothesis we accept null hypothesis meaning that we accept this null hypothesis meaning that in this model there is no serial correlations this model is free from serial correlations okay so that is the outcome of Q statistics and what about uh, LM statistics right we can check this one that is we call it actually Bush Pregan Bush Pegan LM statistics that we can check now so how to check I go to view residual diagnostic then serial correlation LM test right I put it here so first I try with lag 2 right first I take lag 2 then I check you see the bush pregan serial correlation and it is the observed R square and the probability observed R square and corresponding probability how much 61.05% 61.05% which is more than 5% so we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that 
it is our null hypothesis no serial correlation that means this model the does not have any serial correlations okay and in this model in this uh, brush pregan lm test we choose two lakhs right it is here you can see the two lakhs so according to the uh, this test the dependent variable is the residual right you can see residual and you can see from here there are two lakh lag one lag two you can see from here right two lakhs are the independent variable and receipt is the dependent variable okay so but but here here I have chosen two lakhs so there is no serial correlations but what happens if I choose four lakhs so I go to view residual diagnostic serial, serial correlation LM test okay last time I took two now I take four then I check what happens okay four okay when I take the four observed R square and corresponding P value right is 31.94 percent meaning that I cannot reject null hypothesis rather I accept null hypothesis meaning that there is no serial correlation in the model you can see from here the 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 uh, this test the brush pregan test here the dependent variable is receipt and we have four lakhs you can see from here right receipt one receipt two receipt three receipt four so what is our now decision our decision is Q statistics is telling according to the Q statistics there is no serial cor correlation and also according to the Bruch Pagan test there is also no serial correlation in the model because so the model is free from serial correlation so we can use this model we can use this model for hypothesis testing or forecasting because this model has no serial correlation so we can use this model for forecasting or hypothesis testing normally when the model is free from free from heteroscedasticity when the model is free from serial correlations and 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 so on then only we can do hypothesis testing or forecasting but but if the model has so many problem such as if the model has serial correlations or if the model has heteroscedasticity or 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 in that case we cannot we cannot test for hypothesis or we cannot use the model for forecasting so meaning that the model should should follow all the assumptions of serial of regression line yeah. in other words 
if the model has no defect if the model does not have any defect only then we can test the hypothesis or we can go for forecasting so that is the guideline all the time I am writing here you can see I'm sorry if if an estimated regression line fulfills full fulfills all the requirement of a good regression model only then we can go for hypothesis testing or forecasting such as forecasting only then we can go for hypothesis testing or forecasting uh, suppose a model and estimated regression line line has no heteroscedasticity or or no serial correlations etc 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 then we can go for forecasting forecasting or or testing the hypothesis so I, I'm saying again if an estimated regression line fulfills all the assumptions, all the requirements of a good regression model only then we can go for hypothesis testing or forecasting suppose an estimated regression line has has no heteroscedasticity or no serial correlation etc etc then only we can go for forecasting or testing the hypothesis not before that so meaning that we have to make the model correct first right we have to make the model perfect first then only we can go for forecasting not before that right so that is the guideline Okay, suppose we check for this particular model. Uh, okay, so uh, so so we have done it now. We have done it now. So now I, I proceed. Thank you very much for being with me.